All right, all right, all right. There's no better time than party time. Okay, weird lady coming at you live. All right, so we'll just give a few and get some people on. Hello, BD Ross. Okay, so I know that that's probably a Facebook alias. <laughs> So by all means, if you, if your name is not what it shows, help me out and just drop your name down below and say hello and tell us who you are, where you're coming in from. Tell us how you know Miss Connie. Hello, Carrie and Suzanne. How are you guys? Welcome, welcome. All right. Do we have Miss Connie? Do we have her? Do we have her? Do we have her? Okay, there's a way for me to see who we have and I'm not figuring it out. <sighs> okay. That's okay, she'll be here. Debbie, okay, good. Hey, Debbie, awesome. Hello, Carol. All right, guys. So who are you? Where are you coming in from? What you doing? <gasps> Connie's your sister, Carol. She told me all about you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Suzanne, do you want to tag Connie? I'm pretty sure she knows how to get on here because she's got an online business. But hello, Miss Jan. How are you? Okay. So if we have not had the privilege to meet yet, it is my pleasure to introduce myself to you. I wish we could meet in person, but we don't do that anymore. <laughs> We're not allowed to do that anymore. Okay. Well, actually, okay. So, um, one person here can, okay. Is okay. Carol, 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 you can, right? Carol, are you in America? Oh, okay. So lucky. Hello, Serena. Okay. You guys. So my name is Tracy Donald. I'm so, so excited to be here. Toronto. Okay. Carrie from Toronto. Debbie's her bestie. Awesome. Okay. So Carrie from Toronto and Debbie, Debbie, did you add Carrie into this group? Just curious because if you did, you should, Oh, my dog is from California. We got him when he was four. I wished that I lived in San Diego. <laughs> okay. So if Debbie, if you added Carrie into this group, if Carrie was invited by um, Connie, then that's fine. But if you added her as a friend, then you get, um, so Debbie gets an extra ballot into her lip and cheek draw. And there's a post that's called invite a friend and just go and tag <gasps> Connie's here. Yay. Go and tag the person you invited. And guys, it's not too, too late to invite people. Like you literally could invite someone right now and be like, there's a crazy girl. She's going live talking about makeup and you have to hear about this. <laughs> okay. It could be just like that. All right. And that gets you an extra ballot because I'm giving away a lip and cheek. Okay. And Suzanne, we need to chat because we've not done the two draws from here. I, not we, I will own this. I have not done the two draws, but I got us just stumped. So I'll show you guys. Nope, Debbie did it. Okay, well, Debbie, go and get yourself an extra ballot. You got a comment there because I have no other way to track it, but you know, I'm getting organized. I've got a checklist now for my classes. This is new. And so I will tell you that Carol, Jan, Suzanne, Denise, and Debbie have ballots already into the lip and cheek because they've done some of the things they were supposed to do. Uh, okay, you did take Carrie. That's, did you put it in that post? I just looked before this and I didn't see it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a second check mark. So we're good. Um, but there's five different ways that you can get ballots. And um, there's also a $10 draw. I'm gonna do it right after this because I'm gonna extend it until noon tomorrow because only two of you sent me color matches. And the way that once you see this makeup unfold, you're gonna understand why the color match is so important. So I'm gonna give you an extension, okay? Now, Suzanne and Jan already have ballots in that draw because they've already been color matched. They already have their palettes. And so all they had to do was comment on the post. But those of you that haven't been color matched, the way that you get a ballot for the $10 draw is to send me a color match form. If you don't know how to do it, okay, let me know and I will tag you in the post. It's class post number two. There's a form you click, okay? It's called a jot form. And you take a selfie inside your house, standing in front of the window, facing the window, two to three feet away, no makeup on, 
No filters on your cell phone, okay? Filters are good, but Saint is better, and bare skin is what I need for your makeup-free selfie because that's how I color match you. I don't want makeup on your face. And then you send off, there's a couple questions I ask that just help me color match you, and it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I'm extending that until noon tomorrow for anyone who watches this live. If people don't watch the live, it's not extended. So if you have not been color matched, um, Let's do that, okay? So I am keeping track of the draws. I was color match, but really want my friends to be in the draw. Yes. Well, Connie, we're gonna spoil you rotten with the host rewards. That's why you don't go in the draw, but trust me, it's gonna be good for you too. Okay, so Tracy Donald. I live in Petrolia, Ontario. I am a mom. I have three kids. I have um, two kids grown, married, living the life on their own without their mother. No, they're close. One's eight minutes that way. One's eight minutes that way. And then one is like 30 seconds up the stairs. He's 18. He's still at home. Um, so three kids. Jeff's married to Taylor. Mackenzie's married to Megan. Jeff and Taylor made me a grandma at the beginning of the pandemic, January, 2020. My granddaughter's name is Hadley June. She's literally the light of my life. <sighs> everybody said it's so different when you're a grandma and it's the, it's the dang truth. Okay. And yes, Carol, you got color matched you and Debbie. So you guys got ballots into the $10 draw. You, Carol, Debbie, Suzanne, and, um, Jan have ballots. So, um, Hadley June. Oh my gosh. So she's, she's just the light of my life. She's a year and a half. Then my daughter and her wife are expecting their first baby, a boy, little Sawyer, um, in August, end of August. And, uh, so my husband, Rob and I live on a hundred acre farm in Petrolia and my husband works in oil and gas. I'm a retired child and youth counselor. I have been in the business of direct sales you guys, for 25 years. So rewind, I was 17 years old when I had my son, Jeff. 13 months later, I had my daughter, Mackenzie. About five months after that, their father and I separated and I was a single mom at the age of 18 with two babies. And I was terrified. I truly was terrified. And I was invited to a home party and um, I went. It was for a company called Party Light. I'm sure you've all heard of Party Light. And... Um, I reluctantly got started with that opportunity because the woman who was selling it was like, you totally have to do this. This is perfect for you. You need the flexibility, whatever. It put me through college, you guys, okay? Like I had to live on OSAP because I was a single mom. I had no income stream. I was living on OSAP and my party light income literally filled in the gap and allowed me to buy some of the textbooks that I needed, not all of them. Um, and... I sold that for 15 years. I do have animals. I have a Weimaraner named Sai, and he is one of the other lights of my life. Oh, on the farm. No, we got rid of, we had cattle and um, we, they constantly got out and our last hurrah, cause we work like my husband and I both worked full time, right? And my father-in-law helped on the farm, but not nearly as much as he should have. And so we had cattle and they got out and they were eating our neighbor's organic corn drinking out of his hot tub. And it took us four days to get a Wrangler to get them back. We literally loaded them and shipped them and haven't had animals since. But we do have a hundred acres that we plant, um, beans and corn. My husband does it all in his spare time. It's kind of his hobby. It's kind of lovely. I have to say, I love living on the farm. So thank you for asking Donna. Okay. So, um, I'm like a squirrel. And I forgot where I was. Oh, I, I was just, okay. So 15 years with Party Light. Okay. And um, then I moved to a company called Leah Sophia. And that's where I met Suzanne Brogan, who's a friend of Miss Connie's. And then they shut their doors unexpectedly. That led me to my last company, which was called Secret. <coughs> Excuse me. It was Minerals from the Dead Sea products. Great product kind of a gong show of a company, to be honest with you. Um, and I just knew it wasn't my forever home. And last February, I was not a makeup person in any capacity. My daily regime consisted of skincare and CC cream. On a really good day, if I really wanted to do myself up, I'd put on mascara, okay? But I was out in, in Victoria on a business trip and one of my girlfriends told me about Saint. And she was, she's a makeup gal, like total girly girl. 
And she was like, I think that you'd really like this because you can put it as light or as heavy. You can contour and blah. And I was like, you, you lost me at contour, babe. But she was like, Trace, just listen to me. It's going to be good for you. So she had an online party. I attended, bought my first palette. I think I bought six or seven tins. Uh, I started with these two brushes. These are my original two brushes. And when my makeup came in, I was like, shut the front door. I can contour. Like I was literally blown away at the simplicity. And I am a very busy woman. Okay. I literally sometimes don't even, I don't even stop to eat sometimes. I just, I'm very like, I just have, I have a crazy life and I, I like to live in chaos. <laughs> I, I don't like to, but I do. They say, you know, busy people are busy because that's how they thrive. And that is how I thrive. And I don't have time to do an extensive makeup routine. And I, what really prevented me from having a lot of makeup is how it looked on some people I would see. Like, I'm like, I can see every line on your face. I don't ever wanna look like that. This makeup doesn't do that. Now, when I do my under eye area tonight, I have some fine lines under my eyes. You know, I'm 44 now and aging is happening and I'm, I'm embracing it. I'm like, listen, the alternative is not so good. And so I'm just gonna embrace the crap out of it and just like life, <laughs> okay? However, I have wrinkles under my eyes and I'm going to show you how it looks if you just swipe it on and then how you stipple it in. Now, in some cases, you actually want to avoid like this area right here, but it just depends. Okay. And you'll know, you'll know fairly quickly, but you guys, I love the fact that this is simple. It can be as easy and simple as four different colors. This is actually enough to literally do your whole face. Line your brows, line your lips. Highlights, contours, you know, concealer, blush, lip color, you name it, it's in this palette of four, okay? Now, is this my palette? Um, absolutely not, <laughs> because I love this stuff and my palette is actually this big okay this big however tonight for my classes i work out of one this size this is our 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 palette 12. this holds 12 of our beautiful tins okay and i'm gonna work out of this tonight all right so um when we color match you we color match you to a contour, which everybody thinks is too dark, a color corrector, a main highlight, and a brightening highlight. Okay? Yes, Suzanne's got the big triple decker too. Go big or go home. Okay, so when we color match you, these are the most important colors. Your color corrector, your contour, your main highlight, your brightening highlight. Those are the colors that I've looked at every bit of your picture with our swatches, and I have corrected any blemishes or things that you might need to cover any under eye area, but I've also matched the closest tone to your skin and the best contour to not only contour your face, but fill in your brows. Most of us can use the same contour for our brows as we do on our face. And I'm going to show you that tonight. This dark one is my contour and that's going to be on my face and on my brows. Okay. And it's going to look good. I promise you. All right. And so here's what I love the most about Saint. If for some reason you're not 100% satisfied, you have 30 days to get a full refund, you guys. And a lot of people will be like, oh, I just feel awkward getting a refund. I don't like that. Well, I don't like it when you have crap in your bathroom you're not using. Okay. I do not want to contribute to your skincare graveyard. So, or makeup graveyard. We all have those drawers of all the stuff. But guys, here's the best part. Let's say you have a lip color and you're like, I'm over that color. That's my spring color. I want a summer color. You literally pop out the tin because they're magnetic and put in a new color, right? How crazy is this? Now, um, if you guys want to make me feel good, and I'm gonna assume you do because we're all about making each other feel good. You're gonna hit that heart button once in a while and you're gonna give me some love and there's the hug button and there's the happy button, the angry button. I don't even care what button you push, just push a button, okay? Just like bam, bam, 
<laughs> Give me some love, okay? Because um, I'm just sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> and I can see there's people here, but otherwise, I'm just talking to myself. So I say a few jokes throughout the night, and if you don't laugh at them, I'm... I'm just going to stop. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. Okay. So, um, that's what I love about this is if you have colors in here, you're not loving, then you can get rid of them, put the lid back on. So keep your lids. Okay. Cause this is what the tins look like. All right. And the lids can either stay on or off, but the concept is to put them in your palette. Okay. Um, rather than keeping them in the tins. Now I've got these little, this is a lip conditioner and I do have them in my palette, but I also just have these little tins. I have one at my desk. I have one at my night on my nightstand. I have them all over because I love to keep my lips hydrated in condition. It's like skincare for my lips. Okay. But keep your lids because if you get sick of a color for a bit, if you don't have the big gargantuan palette that Su Suzanne and I have, then, you know, you can put them in a little container and, you know, come back to them later on. Okay. All right. What am I missing here? So when you do your makeup, properly it looks and feels like a second skin if it doesn't we need to troubleshoot and one of the things that happens when you make a saint purchase with me okay is like the day your order arrives and you go to the door you pick up the box you open it up like boom i jump out okay i'm just kidding i don't actually jump out but i do work as closely with you as you will allow me to and it can be as detailed as you and I having a one-on-one -on -one FaceTime chat or Zoom chat where we're troubleshooting how you put this makeup on and what end of the brush do you use and all of that good stuff, okay? So this is paint by numbers. Let's talk brushes for a minute. I love our brushes. Our brushes are literally amazing. And they're all, you guys, are all double-ended. So double bang for your buck, okay? So <clears throat> they all have double uses and the buff there we go um just absolutely incredible you have wine oh lovely <laughs> if i drank wine I, I was drinking wine when i first started selling saint on parties i'd be like let's have a, a glass of wine together and i would go 16 shades of red <laughs> And then I'm like, oh, I gotta do some serious color correcting right now. Wine makes me really red. Alcohol does actually in general. Okay, so you're gonna see me use a bunch of these brushes tonight. Now, do if you have brushes, do you have to buy Saint brushes? Nope. Should you have Saint brushes? Maybe. Because I don't know what your brushes are like and you can try it without our brushes. However, these are made for cream makeup. This is cream makeup, okay? Our eyeshadows and a couple of our illuminators are powder as well as our setting powder, but the rest is cream. And so most makeup brushes are not for cream. They're for liquid foundation or powdered foundation. And there is a difference. And here's the good news. If you decide to start without brushes, you can always add later. But if you're gonna do one, I say get the 3D. This is probably our most universal brush. If you're gonna add a second, do the detail. And if you're gonna do a third, I love the blush and bronzer. And then we've got a couple little brushes that you're going to watch me use this evening, starting with this guy. This is our multitasker. I actually have two. I have one for my color correcting and I have one for my lips. Okay. And you'll see me how I use that tonight. Okay. Um, and before I do the makeup, I'm going to get right into it, but I do want to give a very special thank you to Connie. Connie, um, Connie booked a party from Suzanne a couple weeks ago. And I have to tell you that Connie and Suzanne are my heroes because I'm used to going out and doing home parties, but with COVID, that's been absolutely a non-negotiable for over a year. And if it weren't for people like Suzanne and Connie, I would not have a business. And so I am just so grateful from the bottom of my heart that you have allowed me the opportunity to share this product with your beautiful friends and family. And um, thanks to each of you for being here this evening. It really means the world to me. And I hope that I give you a little bit of amusement, some knowledge, and a clear understanding that at Saint, we don't want to make you look beautiful. You're already beautiful. That's a given. We want to make you believe you're beautiful. And every single day I have people say to me, well, I'm not really wearing a lot of makeup right now because I'm not going anywhere. And my direct reply is, 
to heck with putting makeup on to go somewhere. Don't do it for other people. Show up for yourself. There's something amazing that happens when we blow our hair out or when we do a mask for ourselves or when we put makeup on. And I firmly believe that in a world <laughs> as crazy as we are right now, we all need a little something to look forward to, okay? And I do love the fact that I get messages every single day from beautiful customers that thank me for helping them find themselves again and making themselves a priority. So that's my goal for you, okay? So I'm gonna start with my color correcting. And this is what we call camoing, okay? So this is my color correcting color here. It's called Sandy. And um, a very typical palette right now for Canadians, especially because we don't really see much sun until and any time in the next couple of weeks is like candlelit white peach and sandy because we're all very, very fair without having had the beautiful sunshine for so long. Um, but as the summer hits, what happens is your candlelit main highlight might go to sandy. When I color match you, your color corrector most often can become your main highlight in the midst of the summer if you do get sun, okay? So what I'm gonna do, do you see the little kind of imperfection above my brow? I've got some redness here. I've got a scar or a bump here, like a, I need to get something burnt off there. I've got a red blotch there, red, red. I am going to use the fine tip of this brush with my Sandy and I'm gonna start by just covering them all up and then I'm gonna flip the brush and use the other end to blend. And so if I didn't want to do a full look, for example, and I just wanted to kind of like cover up the red spots, um, I still get about one or two zits a month. It's kind of a given. And um, when and if I do, they're so big, you guys, that they could have a postal code, okay? And so I, I really am self-conscious about them. And <clears throat> yes, it's easy and fun and in your PJs. I'd love that, Suzanne. And so I've kind of just covered those spots all up and now I wanna blend this. I want this to look very natural, okay? And so I'm just taking the other end of the brush and I'm just blending it out and so that scar above my brow just disappeared, okay? And this is just the correcting, okay? All right, here we go. Quick and easy. Now, one other thing on that note of quick and easy is this is gonna take me probably about 45 to 50, 55 minutes tonight because I'm talking to you. When I am doing this and I'm not presenting, it's literally under 10 minutes. And Suzanne, how long does it take you? It probably in the beginning took me about 20 minutes because I would often spend like five minutes just figuring out which end of the brush to use. But as I got going and got comfortable, it's 10 minutes, okay? So color correcting is done. Red spots are covered up. Okay, if I wanted to, I could literally just put bronzer on right now, maybe a little bit of eyeshadow, some lip, lip color, and boom, I could go out the door. But I'm not going to because I love doing the full deal. So I'm taking my detail brush, this is our contouring brush, and I'm going into my contour. So I'm not swiping or digging, I'm just kind of dancing the contour around. Now my office is in my basement, and my basement is cold. Okay, and so my contour tends to be a little hard. So I just have to kind of warm it up. So cheekbones are here, okay? And I wanna contour, literally for me, okay, I have COVID fluff, okay? 15 minutes, do full face and a putz, okay. Perfect, and it, that'll just, that'll, that'll, you've been using the makeup now for about two months, so you'll probably find that as you go, you'll be able to take some time off. Okay, so I wanna start at my hairline, just at the bottom of my cheekbone, and I'm just coming straight down on an angle. Now, I'm coming straight down on an angle because I want to make my face appear to be a little thinner, okay? Because I got my cold fluff. <laughs> so my cheekbone's here, 
contour is literally right below it and I'll just put a little bit more and I've come right to the outside corner of my eye. If you put the brush here and you can see contour here, you've come too far. You don't want it to be that far, okay? Because you want this to look like a natural shadow. I want you to think of contour as Spanx for your face. You just wanna kinda hold it all in, all right? And so you don't want your Spanx to be down below your dress, just like you don't want your contour to go too far and just look awkward. Okay, so pretty, pretty harsh, isn't it? But it's not gonna be by the time we're finished, okay? Okay, so now I'm going back into that contour and I'm gonna contour my forehead. And I'm just bringing this down. Just like this. Okay, so about an inch or so, okay? Right into the hairline. And so you can literally just go back up now and make sure you're really getting it in there, okay? And then I personally just kind of fill in this area because I wanna bring brightness to the center of my face and this contour is gonna help me do that. Now I'm back in the contour and I'm doing right here. Why? Because I only want one chin. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, I'm getting definition from here to here. And guys, I want you to remember one thing. I'm showing you a few extra steps tonight, but if this is a little overwhelming to you, we can really take this down to four colors, total simplicity, okay? Because I'm using the bigger palette. But you might be like, that's too much. I just want to start super simple. We can start you super simple. Or you might be one of those people that's like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Um, I don't want to be super simple, but I don't want to go over the top. You know what I mean? But I can totally work with you. Now I'm going to do a bit of nose contouring. So I'm just taking the edge of my detail and I'm literally just doing a line on either side of the top of my nose. Just like this. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use this end. Okay, just like that. All right, so there I am contoured up. Now I'm taking my finger into my light highlight color and I'm gonna go right down the center of my nose. I like to use my finger for this just because I just do. It's just my habit. Okay, all right. I'm starting to look a little cuckoo loco and that's okay. So now I'm going to take my 3D and I'm gonna go into my candlelit um, highlight color. So you can see I'm just tapping it a few times, okay? And I'm gonna come in, so do you see how the brush is the perfect size to go in between these two contours? Okay. And there's two ways to apply your makeup. You can stipple, or you can swipe, okay? It's preference. I, 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 they do recommend if you have mature skin that if you find the makeup isn't sitting quite right, stipple it, okay? Because what it's doing is it's filling in your pores, okay? And, uh, but you will very quickly figure out what your jam is and what you prefer, okay? All right. So that's done. That's my main highlight, lower half of my face. Now I'm gonna go to my brightening highlight with the other end of my brush and I'm gonna start in the corner of my eye and I'm just gonna bring it down. I'm gonna go up the side of my nose to the contour line and then I'm gonna go back over and I'm gonna fill in this whole area. Okay, so if I get really close, do you see that kind of wrinkle right there? I want to really get this brush in there, okay? Because what's happening is that is like completely filling in that area, okay? Just like this. And so do you notice how where I've got contour, I didn't put the candle lit or my brightening highlight? So we're not layering this product at all, okay? Now I do like to take what's left on my brush and prime my eye, okay? And now I'm going to go and do the other side. And same thing, it's pretty evident where that line is on my eye, right? So I really just get that brush in there. And you're, I'm very, very light-handed with this, you guys. 
This is the only skin on your entire body that is not attached to muscle. And that is why it's the first problem area that most of us deal with. Because it's, you know, we can be really tough with it. And so when you're in this area ever, you're just taking your time, you're being gentle, you're not pulling and, you know, pulling and, and like being hard on that skin, okay? Okay, and if you guys have questions, please ask. I'm gonna start to look really crazy here in a moment, but it won't be for long. Okay, now I'm gonna do an upside down triangle here and you might be like, how on earth are we supposed to remember all of this? You're not supposed to remember it. I'm gonna give you charts. I'm gonna help you, okay? So it's not your job to remember how to do all this. So the whole purpose of what I've just done is I wanna bring light to the center of my face. And so I'll take it one step further. I'm gonna prime this eye. I might have overdone it, but that's okay if you overdo it because this is so forgiving and you can really blend it out. And I'm gonna go a little here and a little here. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend it. Now I like to blend it either with my blush and bronzer, the small end or my 3D. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend it tonight with my blush and bronzer. Okay, so I'm just taking the small end and I'm just going in circular motion. So you see what it looks like right now, right? All right. See how well that just blended? Is that not amazing? Okay, now we're gonna do my eye and the under eye area. I just do circular motions. So I like to work my way from top to the bottom, but I leave that main contour until the very end. And on my nose, I do go up and down as opposed to round and round. And now I'm skipping and going below the contour. Now we always recommend you blend up. Always, always, always blend up, except on your neck where you did that contour. That's where you're gonna blend it down and that's just gonna help everything match, okay? But the reason we blend everything else up in an upward motion is because we want to defy gravity. We wanna fight gravity and we wanna lift, okay? We don't, we don't want any more settling. We got enough of that going on, okay? So I'm just gonna actually go back to my detail brush now and I'm really just gonna blend this in by just kind of pushing it in an upward motion. So your immediate response is gonna to be to make this just go away. You don't want it to go away. You want it to turn into a natural shadow. You can see the definition that this has already brought on my face, okay? And now we'll go do the other side. And many people become a little resistant. Like they're like, oh, I don't know about this whole contouring thing. My advice to you is give it a try. See how it works for you. Because it's kind of shocking how incredible it has the potential to be on, on us, okay? So there we go. I'm all blended out. Okay, so we're not finished. <laughs> now I'm gonna fill in my brows. And if you recall, I said I was gonna use my contour to do that, right? So this is our line brush and I'm gonna line my brows with it. It's a very, it's a spoolie <coughs> on one end and a very fine tip on the other end that's on a perfect slant. And I like to take it in here and just go on both sides, okay? Just like that and I'm just going to literally follow my hairline. Now, why do we line our brows? Lining our brows literally frames our face, and I am i didn't do it myself ever <laughs> prior to saying, I, I mean, I just told you guys I wore CC cream and on a good day mascara, that's when I really did myself up. <laughs> it was date night. Oh, my poor husband, he didn't get much. Um, Effort, didn't get much effort. But now that I know how to do it, I never wore makeup, not because I didn't want to, I, I just didn't know what I was doing. And so Kara Brooke 
have to try contour for the brows. I use, yes, Trust is actually really good too, Suzanne. That's actually one of our most popular contour colors for the brows. I just love my contour. So my contour is indigo. But look at the difference, you guys. Isn't that crazy? The difference that that just did on this side. It, it almost lifts everything, okay? So here's the key. You're gonna do the other side, but, and they gotta be sisters, not cousins, but they don't have to be twins, okay? So they're never identical. And so I'm just gonna do the same thing over here. And I like to have my elbow resting on whatever surface I'm sitting in front of, or if I'm in my bathroom. I just, I really like the fact that I have total control when my elbow's sitting, because this was not easy for me at first with my lack of experience. Okay, boom, done. Use the spoolie and I'm off to the races. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some cheek color on. Um, but I just, I notice I've got like a, whatever that is right there and it's kind of red. So we're just gonna touch that up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so cheek color. Um, and I'm going to use this color on my cheeks and then I'm going to line my lips with it and I'm going to put this color on my lips. Okay. So this is sandstone and this is Sadie. And so I'm taking, uh, actually hold on cheeks. Okay. So I'm going to use my blush and bronzer brush. I'm going to use the small end. Um, so actually I'm just going to show you, you can also just kind of use your fingers if you want to, and just put it in the spots that you want and then blend it, or you can dab the brush right in. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So now I'm just going to blend this back, always back, never, ever forward. And we want to keep it out of our eye area. Okay. It's a pretty crazy color, but it's really, really pretty on, okay? And now I'm gonna use that exact same color and I'm gonna line my lips. Now, I like to line my lips because I like to make them appear to be um, bigger, plusher, okay? Okay, and now I'm flipping the brush and I am just gonna grab, I've got a paper towel here. I, uh, I always have like a paper towel when I do my makeup and before I started the live, I cleaned my brushes with our brush cleaner and it's a dry brush, brush cleaner. So you spray it, you swipe it and that was what came off of my brushes um, before I went live, so. Kind of cool. And so I just kind of wiped off what was on there. And now I'm going to go ahead and load up my brush with Sadie. And away we go. Okay. Now I am always mixing my lip colors. Um, we have a couple really nice, rich, dark colors that I just cannot get enough of. So, um, and actually, I'm oh, sorry, I, I moved things. Okay, I'm gonna show you this. This here is our Lip and Cheek collection. It comes with eight colors. They're very popular colors, and you save $52 when you buy it. <clears throat> now, I'm quoting Canadian prices, so, um, it's obviously significantly less in the US, um, but so this is Black Cherry, Dahlia, Desert Sunset, and Plum, or sorry, Nude. And then we've got Frenchie, Hollywood, Petal, and Baby Watermelon. And I am actually gonna go ahead and put a little bit of Black Cherry in the center, okay? Black Cherry is one of my favorite colors, as you can see. <laughs> It's almost, you know, it's just really like way more gone than everything else. So I like to just kind of put it right here. And that just makes a really, really pretty lip color, okay? So now I'm gonna do my eyes and then we're gonna talk illuminator and kind of 
wrap it up. Okay, so I'm using two colors tonight on my eyes. I like to keep it simple. Yes, you get cheat sheets for sure. Um, brush, blush, blush and bronzer is your favorite for blending. It's really nice, isn't it? It's so fluffy. Uh, okay, so I'm using Mama and Lullaby on my eyes, and I'm going to use it to do a shadow look, and I'm also going to use the darker of the two Lullaby as an eyeliner, okay? So I, I personally am going to use two brushes for this. You can get away with just the eyeshadow brush. I've just recently started using the smudge brush, and I really like it. So um, again, very universal. There's lots of things you can do with them. So I'm starting off with my shadow brush and I'm just gonna go into Mama and just tap out the fall out. And I'm just gonna kind of basically wash my entire lid. Okay. Now guys, I just started doing my eyes on camera in the last 30 days because I truly did never do my eyes. And so I just was like, I have nothing to teach people about eye makeup. But I realized how simple it really can be. I don't need to do like this extensive smoky eye, right? And I love that. And I just, I have green eyes and I love what these colors bring out in my eyes. It's, they're deaf. My eyes are one of my favorite features. And so that's what I wanna draw attention to, okay? So now I've flipped from the fluffy end of the brush to the the, Kind of more blunt end and i'm kind of just going in here and oh aren't they gorgeous suzanne and so into lullaby the darker and i am just gonna kind of brush it on my lower lid okay just like that i personally cannot wear black eyeliner it's horrid on me. Okay, so now I'm taking, so the smudge brush is like a thin, thinner end and then kind of like just a round end. I'm taking the thin end and I'm going into Lullaby, the darker, and I'm gonna just get on, I have hooded eyes, so I'm just gonna get right on my crease line and kind of wash it back and forth to the midway point, okay? And then we're gonna come over here and do the same thing. All right. And then I just like to kinda of finish it off by blending it with this guy. And ta-da. So I am gonna put some mascara on. We do not sell mascara. I have to tell you, we do not sell mascara. Kind of odd that we don't sell mascara because we have makeup, but the reason we don't sell mascara is because Kara Brooke, the owner of Saint, wanted to develop a makeup line that the average woman could use, the people like me, the 40 plus year olds that had no stinking idea what they were doing. And because people, women struggle with where to put the contour, where to put the lip and cheek, how to do their eyes, you know, how to line their lips. But mascara is easy. It's easy. You don't need a lesson. <laughs> you take out the brush, you put it on your lashes and you're good to go. Okay. So someday maybe we'll come out with one, but right now it wasn't the priority. And Saint is actually a five-year-old company. So they're still relatively new. Sorry, I just got a little bit on my eye there. And I am so not good at multitasking, so I'm gonna do this as quickly as I can. All right, and then we're gonna do some illuminator. And then we're gonna set it. Actually, illuminator, bronzer, and set it. Okay, there we go. Super basic eye look with two colors, okay? And it's pretty on everyone, all right? So, illuminator, let's talk illuminator. We have powder illuminator and we have cream. I personally love both, but I really prefer the cream for someone starting out because it's, it's definitely easier to work with, okay? And so I have got Angel, I have to tell you though, we have perfume illuminators. They're in the rose gold. I'm gonna grab one actually, hold on. 
Okay, so they're in rose gold, the rose gold color, and they smell so good, okay? They smell so good. And so this is great because where you put it is, I'm gonna use the bottom of my detail brush, okay, the small end, and I'm gonna go right on my cheekbone, right on the cheekbone. Now, you are not meant to see this, okay? This is meant to be a candlelit glow on your face, okay? Now, the other area I'm gonna put a bit is like right here, okay? Just a little bit of a pop of illumination right here. And then you can even go so far, which is your favorite? Oh, okay, so rose gold and angel are my favorites and rose gold is the one that has four fragrances. Oh, my favorite fragrance, number two. This is number two. It's so, but I, I'll have to be, tell you there isn't a bad fragrance, okay? There isn't a bad one. So I'm gonna use my finger for this next spot. I'm just gonna put a little dab on the inside of both eyes. And this just kind of helps open your eyes up and gives you a pop. And then, same thing, finger right here. Cupid's bow, okay? It's just a really, really subtle, pretty glow, all right? And then um, to wrap it up, I'm gonna bronze and then I'm gonna set it. So we have Bella Bronzer and this is actually another cream illuminator called Glow. And then I actually have another Bella. So I've created a bronzing block so that I can literally just go in and just kind of give it a swirl and I'm loaded, okay? Not legitimately loaded, but in any way, shape or form. Okay, and now I'm going to just go where I would get sun on my cheeks. Where would the sun hit me if I were outside for the day? And like by now, I will have depended on being on a couple of vacations and have a nice warm bronze coming into summer. But not this year. <laughs> Thank you, COVID. No travel, no hot vacations. We are supposed to celebrate our 20th wedding anniversary in Hawaii in the fall. I mean, we've all lost out on really great opportunities. Can't wait for things to go semi back to normal so we can get back to life. But for now, I'm gonna depend on my bronzer. But here's the thing that I love. As the older I get, the more I realize how important it is for me to protect my skin and stay out of the sun. And so um, I love the fact that I can protect my skin and stay out of the sun, but still get that beautiful bronze. And guys, this makeup just literally makes you glow from the inside out, okay? I, I love it. And so my very last step is to take that spoolie on the end of my line brush, and I'm just gonna rough up my Vanilla Dust setting powder. Okay, because I am oily. So you can see I've just kind of roughed that up. I'm oily and so it's important for me to set this makeup, okay? And so I'm literally just taking the big end of my blush and bronzer brush. You can see all the powder on there, okay? And now I'm gonna tap it into my oily T-zone area. And then I'm gonna bring it all over. So I start with my T-zone and bring it all over, okay? And then my very final step, and I actually, I don't know what I just got in my mouth, but that's annoying. Okay, I actually usually start with this and I forgot. This is our setting spray. Um, I just get gabbing and I forget. So I'm just gonna spray this right onto my Perfector sponge, which I've actually wet this and we do what we call blowing it up, okay? And I've got the setting spray on there and I'm going right over where I put that powder. And what's happening is this damp Perfector is not only setting that powder, but it's picking up any excess of anything that's left behind and I'm done. And I'm done, okay. And so in the end, I'm gonna fan myself dry. <laughs> in the end, um, if you kind of take a look and you're like, ah, I could've used a little more cheek color, put more on. If you're like, ha, huh, I put on too much cheek color, blend it out, okay. This product is extremely forgiving. It's never, ever, ever gonna be not enough for too much because you're just gonna fix it if it is, okay? All right, so does anyone have any questions before I tell you how you're gonna get this product? Okay, so a couple ways you can get your hands on this amazing product. First way is five minutes ago, a post was posted in Connie's group that says it's shopping time and it gave you many different scenarios of things that we could put together to create 
a starting package for you. They're not packages that if you click the shopping link, you can go in the back office and find. We have to actually build them out for you. Okay. Now, a couple of you have asked me to build carts for you and I will do that. Um, I have a meeting at 830 and then I will do it immediately after and I'll message you probably in the morning. If you haven't been color matched yet and you need a cart built for you, that's okay. We can do that over the weekend. Okay. Um, 30 day money back guarantee. No questions asked. I would be horrified to find out that you didn't exercise that if you weren't happy, but you guys, I celebrated $100,000 worth of sales since May 22nd of last year on the weekend. And I can tell you, I've had four returns on this product. Literally. I've had a couple of people have to swap out colors, but four all out returns out of $100,000 worth of this makeup being sold. Um, we are literally <laughs> um, blowing this up. And my team, like we've, we've sold 1.5 million and everybody... <laughs> is loving their makeup. Like it just, it blows my mind every single day how much this just makes women feel beautiful and gives them a skip in their step. Okay. And I want that for you. And that's what Connie wants for you. That's why she decided to share this with you. So that's the first way. And of course, when you click that shopping link, you're helping Miss Connie get some freebies, which is a lot of fun. If people are going to buy this, it might as well be something that they help their friends get a discount on. Right? So the second way is to do what Connie's doing, and that's to, po to host a party of your own, okay? Suzanne had a party a couple weeks ago, and she got, Suzanne, what did you get again? I know it was an absurd amount of product. <laughs> she had a really great party, a very engaged group of amazing people, and in the end, I think it was like $430 or $40 in free products and four half-price items, and so... Like she got probably close to six, $650 worth of product for, I don't remember what you paid Suzanne, but I'm going to say it was like a hundred dollars, maybe $125. So you can speak to that. Um, having a party of your own takes no more time than it took for you to be here at this party. And I do my best to work with you and make it fun and easy and, you know, we make it an intimate group. I don't want you inviting 200 of your friends. I want you inviting people that actually want to be here. And I promise you, no one is going to be like, I can't believe you invited me to that stupid party. It's horrible. <laughs> Most people are going to be like, oh, thank you for introducing me to Saint. Now, if you book a party within a couple of weeks of this party, so by the end of May, basically, I'm going to give you a lip and cheek of your choice for free free, 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 no matter what. Okay. And then, um, I'm also giving away our entire skincare line to one of my hosts this month. And so it's a $200 value. It's a cleanser, a toner, a moisturizer, and, um, a set of three microfiber cloths. And one of my hostesses this month will win that. Okay. For the month of May. So honestly, it doesn't matter where you live. We can party online. We are a company that has Canada and U S ordering and we have Fun. So that's something you can consider. Okay. Uh, and the third way that you can get this product is to do what I do. And that is to become a saint artist. And I always have this conversation and I know that Suzanne and Connie sell an amazing jewelry line and I am so excited for them. And, um, but I'm, I'll just tell you a little bit about this. We have less than 30,000 artists in North America. We're only open in Canada and the US right now, but we're getting steam. So like I said, I started May 22nd of last year. I have over 240 amazing women on my team, Canada, US, coast to coast. And um, we're not slowing down anytime soon. It's kind of crazy. When the, this year started, I had 80 people on my team. And so 2021 has been pretty huge for us. Um, but Saint makes it easy because it's an affordable product with an amazing return policy. So there's no fear, no strings attached. And it's just helping women radiate from the inside out. And I just love the fact I've always said, I do what I do in direct sales because I love to help women find their power because a confident woman is unstoppable. And it was like the universe put Saint in my path because I was supposed to do this. And I love having customers and sharing the opportunity through ordering. I love sharing the opportunity through our host program. And I also love helping new artists get started. And so if any of these resonate with you, um, please speak with me, but the link is up for Miss Connie's class. And I look forward to color matching those of you that have not been color matched. 
natural daylight in the house, face the window two to three feet away, make a free selfie, no filter on your camera and shoot it off to me. The jot form is on post number two. If you need help, just message me and I can tag you in it. And I just want to say thank you once again for being here tonight. You guys were amazing to stay right to the end. Um, and again, I just truly, I, my heart cannot share enough how thankful and grateful I am to have the opportunity to share with you guys. So thank you, Connie. Um, I really appreciate you and, um, we'll be in touch. So there's more posts to come. I still have uh, a day and a half of posts coming in the group and we have the whole weekend and into next week to sort orders out. So no panic. Don't, don't panic about how quickly it needs to be done. And I'm here to help in any way that I can. So thank you guys. I'll be posting my after picture. I always do a before and after to show you the difference and how I transform my look and there's no filters. Okay. So, and I can do the same thing by helping you get your palette going. So thank you so much. Have a good night and we'll be in touch. Connie, I'm going to shoot you the recording once it's downloaded. Okay. Thanks guys. Have a good night.